Okay, I'm back in here where I've been storing all the engines here, as you can tell. Anyway, you want to see that bee nest I uh, think I killed the other day? Look at that. So, might piss them off if I do this, but right on the side of a bucket, hey? Look at that. It's all joined together. Look at the colors in there too, hey? So I, I uh, give them good blast yesterday. I don't see any moving around today. Oh, take it back. I see some moving. But. Okay. There's a couple suckers right on the bottom there. Oh, well, maybe they're not moving, hey? Look at that. There's eggs in there. Poke, 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 poke. Anyway, I was in here the other day taking parts off this engine. And I think I still hear some up in the corner, but I actually bombed the entire thing and closed the door. Sprayed it from the backside too, because I think they're coming in on the floor there. So I thought they're actually inside that box, uh, which has a brand new range hood. <laughs> so I guess no, they're on the side of a bucket. And I just put those buckets there when I put these engines in here. So there's that air filter assembly that I was taking off just to use temporary on that other engine. So this engine's a 1966. I don't even know what year this one is. 78. So this one here has the newer style diaphragm carb. Can't remember the exact name of this carburetor. Saw on the top of my head too, I just can't think of it. So well, maybe it doesn't have the diaphragm style. Oh yeah, it does. It's just on this side. So and that one there I think was a two horse also, I can't remember. So maybe it's not a two horse because it has the full size gas tank. It might only it might be a 3.5 or a four horse. Anyway, I'm gonna dissect that nest. Once I can find something I can use to peel it off. Uh There we go. I got a guy coming to pick up some stuff from Kijiji in a few minutes, so I just thought it might be a good idea to get some of these bees out of here first. And of course, make sure they're gone. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty much empty. Friggin' bees. Look at that, eh? Anyway, that is kind of cool. And by the looks of it, they all uh, flew out of there. Sweet. See, I thought I seen movement inside here. They're alive. There's tons of them in there. A few of them are missing, of course, but... These ones here look like they're actually ready to actually jump out almost, man. If you look at the top one in there, it's actually moving pretty good. I know my uh, iPhone's probably not focusing the best here on them, but... I don't know. To step on them, to burn them. I kind of hate bees, so... Well, I guess that's a mouth on one? I don't know. The center one there on the screen. So, I sure smell the chemicals I sprayed. It's a very strong smell, and I know one fell out here. Where did he go? Oh, yeah, there's a little tiny one on the bottom there. Oh, spider. Spider in there, even. So... So I think it's a good thing that I caught these guys. Uh, I think the ones on the end here, oh no, they're moving too. Oh, that one there I think got a little squished. Right there, it's uh, kind of broken open. So what do you guys think? Take out the propane torch, uh, gasoline and a match, shaky the cameraman here. Oh my god, even the little ones at the corner there, they looked like they're dead, but they're actually moving. See? You know, I got a better idea. Are those little baby eggs in there? Yeah, I think they are. The empty holes right there? I know they're not really showing up there. 
but let's see if I zoom back up here. Yeah, it looks like there's little baby eggs in there. So that guy down there, at the bottom, just switched to widescreen there. Oh, that bottom one is moving. Look. Hmm. Oh, the wind's going to take him away. Man, can't believe this. It's so cool. I almost want to put them into a pop bottle and just see what if they, uh, mind you, poke a hole in the pop bottle and just see what happens. So it doesn't look like, uh, looks like they'd be, you know, flying around pretty quick. What's weird is that the chemicals never killed the babies, but they killed all the parents, I guess you can say. But anyway, I'll let you guys know what I'm going to do with them. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bad thing is, to use this, i got to find a propane tank. Yes, we got it set up to run on propane, but then I got to move the tank from the barbecue or try to find a spare one, which I believe is outside in a motorhome. So, okay, let's see what I'm going to figure out. Eh, maybe I'll just use a little handheld uh, butane torch. I don't know. Okay, so I got three different choices here Raid, Spider Blaster, because I used up all the B shit. Spider Blaster should kill him, come on. Uh, torch, Chainsaw. Gasoline or music? Hmm, what's going to kill him the best? Ah. Of course, aim that away from the raid. I think I'm going to have to give this thing a try. Let's go have some fun. It's starting to get a bit windy out here. I don't think I want to do it on my quad. So I'll take them down to where all the grass is dead from previous experiments. Oh, look at that, one fell out, it's still alive. Throw one there to fall out, see if he likes some heat. He's still moving. Yike! Yeah, note, if your torch is doing that, you got a problem. My hand's getting warm. Oh, look at it just moving. Oh, that doesn't smell very good. Turn that off there. It smells like roasting marshmallows and kind of coconutty. Okay, that other one's still moving there. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. I don't smell honey, but it kind of smells like coconut. Why do I smell coconut? This thing. Oh. Yeah, I don't want those ashes going under there. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Different setting this time. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this on a windy day, hey? Yeah, I got a garden hose. Well, I guess it helps if I was uh, having in the view, hey? Get some more gas. Gotta love my fire starter. She seems like a pretty good, uh, it's pretty strong looking. A little bit less air. Ooh, she's getting cold. Down this tiny bit there. I think I need still alive, I kind of doubt it. Oh my god, I gotta show you guys this. What the hell is with these guys? That one's still alive. And that one's still alive in there. And that one. What the hell are these things made out of? Fire doesn't kill them. Raid doesn't kill them. It's making them hatch. That one's, oh, their whole back end there is moving. Okay, more fire. I'm almost out of juice. Yep, out of juice. Okay, I'll come back after I re uh, refill it. You know, 
I don't know where butane is right now, so I'm just going to try to spider blaster on it. How do you guys like that? How do you guys like that? That's going to kill them. It's going to dry them out because the stuff has uh, what silica sand, I guess you can call it, or not silica sand. Uh, I can't even remember the name of it, but it's not really showing up here, but they're still kind of wiggling, so there's quite a few bees in there. It wasn't a very big nest either. Okay, I think they're dead. They're not moving no more. Oh, that was too easy. Oh, this stuff actually smells pretty good. Hmm. Oh, oh, I lost one. This is what it looks like out of its nest. 720p B, I guess. Oh, look, it's like a maggot. Hmm. Yep, they're dead. Thank God. Anyway. Don't know why I videotaped that. Just kind of felt like doing it for the hell of it. Just, you know, because I mentioned it in the other video and had to get rid of them. So, yeah, I know. It could have been a, a prick and I could have just went and thrown over my neighbor's fence. So, you know, let them deal with it. But I'm not like that. Okay, so I got the cover on it. Uh... Also have this very dirty, as you can see, like, oh my god, does someone not maintain their engines? Like, oh, like, look at this stuff, holy crunch. Like, look at this filter. That is like, looks like these, that's a finger mark on it, but look at that filter. Like, look in there. I mean, I'm scared to open this thing. Wash and re-oil, foam cleaner. Well, yeah. Well, I guess it's not so bad on the inside here. Here's the screw. Well, maybe I can get away with just buying a new filter. <laughs> actually, I thought that filter was dry rotted, but it's not really that bad. It's actually pretty uh, soft still. See? I could be a redneck. I could clean it, or I could go pay $7.99 and buy a brand new one. But I still kind of don't want to use this air filter setup. I kind of want to try to find the original canister type one. So for now, I'm just going to put that in a pile. I'll have to kind of think on that idea. Uh, mind you, if I buy a new filter, I can always use it on a different engine. I got enough of them. Uh, so I'm going to mount up this exhaust and uh, start it up. But again, today's Friday. Uh, I'm not going to be starting this probably till Monday because I got so much I need to do. Uh, so, you know. Uh, you know, it kind of sucks. But, got to make you guys wait. I know it's going to start. It's going to be just a standard engine. It's nothing really too fancy. Uh, again, I put, as you can tell, I just came in from attacking those bees. I uh, added that on the first video, or first part of this video. Uh, I still got to decide what I'm going to do for an exhaust. I want, before I start this up, the reason why I'm not starting is I want to find a 2x8 board to mount it on. And I want to have it uh, a little bit longer on both sides, like coming up to here. So about a six to eight inches from the gas tank, and on this side here, uh, maybe a foot from the uh, from the engine. So I want to have a bigger board because where I want to mount it, I'm going to need it. Sure, I could use a metal base, but I'm thinking, you know, wood is going to. I'd use pressure treated, so you know, it's probably going to be pretty decent. Uh, not too sure yet if I'm like how this exhaust system is going to work. I'm kind of thinking of drilling these holes bigger, but then it's not going to be able to get tightened up in there without breaking. Uh, so as you can kind of see. So anyway, like I said, Monday I'll have the starting video. Maybe even Sunday. It all depends what it go, how it goes. Tomorrow I'm going to be going quadding for the whole day. I just got like 15 text me messages from the same guy. And about three text me messages from another guy all wanting me to go quadding tomorrow. So, you know, don't know yet. So I don't want to really quad when I have so much work I got to get done. So... Anyway, that's the end of this. Uh, just kind of thought I'd show a B update. <laughs>